Welcome. The House of Grief lies just within. We are here to help. Best be on my way. Here we go. Oh, I'll take that. The House of Grief welcomes you, and stands ready to ease your troubles. Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you'd try to flee, like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. All in due time. This is a place of healing. Anyone who partook in our methods did so willingly, and left with a smile on their face, freed from their troubles. Would you accuse a surgeon of robbing a tumor? I think not. I've come too far to turn back now. Just a little longer. We're near the end of this one way or another. Let us through. You know I'm expected. As I said, in due time. First you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. Follow me. Get on with it. I must keep going. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. That voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it, at any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name, in full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior... Iconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. An astral projection. Clever girl. She's not taking any chances. We shouldn't either.
Flasche. Cunning disguise can serve a warrior of the Dark Lady better than any armor. That's what they always told us. I think this was my favorite part. Pretending to be someone else. I suppose that's been my whole life. Let's move. How delicious. I'll do challenge. Go. Looking ahead. Time to press ahead. I... I think I might have hurt people here. Learned how to break their bodies. Their spirits quiet in here now. Always so. Screams rang off these walls. Very well. It is splendid to see you again, my friend. If you hadn't saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? Quite right. But it is not Orin herself who has marked me for death. It is her dread master. The Lord of Murder has returned. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate. And his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. Orin is his chosen. And like Saravok before her, she is able to take on the savage form of the Slayer. If the Slayer is not stopped, it will slaughter every living thing in this city. As one of those things, I'm particularly eager to stop it. And there is a way. I have a study of the beast, penned by the wizard Irenicus himself. It contains all the knowledge needed to slay the Slayer. Now I just need a brave adventurer, willing to face Baal's Chosen, and to put the knowledge into practice. Wonderful! I can scarcely think of anyone more suitable. It will serve you well. A study of the Slayer penned by John Irenicus. It's one of a kind, so do try to keep it away from the inevitable bloodbath, hmm? 
the Dream Eater. It is said that children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep, ever disturbed by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. Once they have seen too much, once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It is a beast of unspeakable violence that consumes all in its path, including the soul of the one who is host to it. A genius, exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesala, when he attempted to seize the power of life itself, he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. That is how he came to crave the power of the Baal spawn. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. In the end, though Erenicus took the form of the Slayer for himself, it was a Baal spawn who thwarted him, the same that saved Baldur's Gate. Quite so. I was rather hoping you'd gathered all the rest of the adventuring paraphernalia yourself. You'll need every advantage. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. So I know your battle against him is not futile. He can be stopped, but not all of those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. Uh, two or three at most. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? childhood spent in these halls, the Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over. Thanks. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. <sighs> One day. Keep going. The Mother Superior is expecting you. how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah, how she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. 
A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself. And you squandered it. You can still leave, if you are wise. Surrender this one to me, now. And you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! Under their noses. Time to deal some punishment. Now 
shall perish! Shah's will shall be done. Um Shah's night shall fall. Dark Lady's fools must die!
Surrender. Uh, Lady Shah guides me. Your end is near. Ranks. Ready for this.
way. Find something useful. No one back home will ever believe this. How much farther can I go? Anything of use? now. <laughs> Easy. Still alive, so that's progress. What's hiding here? What path lies before me? Yes, 
Yankee. Head removed. They tortured her for information, and then made sure the corpse couldn't help anyone else. Can't be another vile trick. No, there is no trick. It's her, Jennifer, Jan, our little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace, it is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. Victory. Your victory is but a guttering candle in the dark. Temporary. Inconsequential. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. found us. All these years, that dream kept us going, that you would break free, 
No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. you want it is what we need all of us you were meant to be a guiding light for saluna's faithful but they robbed you from us now that can be righted and we can rest help us jan i can let go now i've seen your face again goodbye not goodbye not even close They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. Shadowheart, still. I can't run away from who I was all this time. Besides, there's something fitting to it. Can't cast a shadow without some light. My parents. I saw them. Spoke to them and let them go. It's. It's more than I can take in just now. Give me a night to try and get my head together. Simple enough. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith or forgot about it. I wanted to come here to see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know, now that I know who I am.
loss. Actual loss, not Shah's oblivion. I had my family. For too short a moment. Now they're gone. By my hand. comfort me. They can't give me advice. They can't tell me what I was like as a little girl. since I've shed a tear. I don't even know how long. Shadowheart. She's as much a part of who I am as Genevieve. Can't just forget her. It's not what I do anymore. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. You can't cast a shadow without some light. <laughs> 